popular as the James Bond franchise has been over the years, I've always preferred the Bourne films. Maybe it's that Matt Damon is a consistently better actor than any of the recent Bonds, but the movies also have a much more interesting story to go along with the explosions and fistfights. A few years back, I heard that a Bourne game was being made to go head-to-head -head with the Splinter Cell series, and I was worried. One, because movie games usually suck, and two, because I didn't want anything going against my favorite franchise, but the game did get made. This is the Bourne Conspiracy for the Xbox 360. The Bourne Conspiracy actually follows an expanded version of the Bourne Identity. I'm talking about the movie, not the book, because the two are very different. It takes a lot more time to get into than the movie, and while I usually appreciate a game with a lot of content, it actually makes the game a little boring. Dealing with zillions of mindless goons before making it to a cutscene just isn't all that exciting. Regardless, it still starts with Bourne and the boat and all that good stuff that I'm not spoiling for people who haven't seen the movie yet. Tonight wasn't the plan. Lombosi wasn't part of the plan either. That's why we sent you. Oh. What's wrong? Nothing. Just a headache. So take an aspirin and get moving. Radio wants you in position. Yes, sir. Gameplay in The Bourne Conspiracy is a mix of stealth, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and shooting. The hand-to-hand -hand segments of the game are excellent, with takedown moves, blocking, and several attacks for Bourne to use. These take up a good portion of the game, which makes sense as these were very common in the movie. However, the stealth segments are completely awful, and the gun segments would be okay if the hit detection wasn't so bad. It just doesn't give you the feeling of being a complete badass that you'd expect from a Bourne game. There are also a few driving segments that actually were better than I thought they'd be. The main issue I have with the Bourne Conspiracy is how linear it is. In a stealth action game, you want a lot of different options for tackling an objective, but it's rare to get more than one way to do anything in this game. Bourne was super smart and able to think of tons of ways to get around enemies in the movie, but the game feels like it doesn't trust you. Enemy AI is also horrific, with some guards not even realizing you're shooting at them until you've landed a few hits. Yeah, that blood oozing from your neck isn't normal. The Bourne Conspiracy was released a few years ago, and it's pretty easy to tell by looking at it. Faces look okay when not moving, but expressions look pretty motionless. However, audio does live up to expectations. The classic score is back, giving the game that classic Bourne sense of suspense, and although Matt Damon isn't in the game, the voice actor doing Bourne does a pretty good job. The real change that I noticed was Chris Cooper not doing the voice of Conklin. He was so perfect in the original role that it really is a downer to not have him in the game. While this is nowhere near as good as the Splinter Cell games, the Bourne Conspiracy does have a lot of interesting ideas. Most of its problems are from the technical side of things, and if some of the filler was removed, it would really be something special. Jaden, check in. O'Connor's dead. I'm pulling the plug. It's too risky. Cops are everywhere. Lombosi will know something's up. I'm going to complete my mission.